What's up guys, Kaz here from Matters All Darts and today I'm bringing you a new video, bringing you my build up and also the final vlog itself of me going to the British Open in Bridlington. So I signed up for the WDF British Open uh, just really to have a weekend away. So I thought why not go to Bridlington for the British Open and also the British Classic on the Saturday and I'm also playing in an East Coast Darts tournament on the Friday night as well when I arrive. Uh, there's a lot of good players entering the British Open, the British Classic. I wouldn't expect to go far. Uh, I barely expect to win a game, to be honest with you. But um, I said, as long as I can go away, enjoy my weekend, play well for three games, and I lose all three games, I'll be absolutely happy with that. If I manage to win a game or two, then even better. And it should be a good weekend. So what I'm bringing you today is a little practice vlog. Uh, to start, what we're going to do is show you some footage from when I went up to meet Loxley Darts and a few uh, other sort of content creators and people from the world of YouTube and Twitter. Loxley have recently sponsored a place nearby to my hometown called Legend Sports Bar, which is part of a an area called Stonham Barnes. Uh, so there's a new sports bar there and they have sponsored the stage up there where Keith Deller has done a couple of exhibitions already as well and yeah so they're sponsoring that and they're also sponsoring a little event going on on the 1st of October the poster will probably be on the screen now and yeah Matt and Dom from Loxley came over and they were visiting for the week and we had a little meet up and we had a little throw on the stage and we were just having a little practice there so it was a nice little meet up I managed to get hold of a few of the new Loxley products uh, some of which have been released since then um, a few of them are still yet to come out but it was a good day overall and a nice little time to practice. Uh, as I've been talking about, you've probably seen some footage and some photos from that day as well. So yeah, that was a good evening. Really great to meet Matt and Don from Loxley finally. Uh, those guys have also supplied me some shirts for the British Open, so I'd like to thank them for that. Um, I managed to design it myself. The design didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to, but um, yeah, they were kind enough to offer to supply me with some Matt shirts for the British Open, so thank you to them for those. What we're going to do now is move on to my board at home and show you a couple of practice games that I've been playing in the build-up to the British Open to try and improve a couple of areas of my game. So the first practice game I like to use is a little warm-up routine, but it does also help you practice with your bullseyes. And the idea is, is just to get to 500 points just by aiming at the bullseye. So obviously 25 is worth 25 and the bullseye is worth 50. Obviously, if you're not as good of a player you can obviously bring this down to sort of 300 or 250 points uh, if you're a better player you can move this up to a thousand um, I wouldn't really go any more than a thousand ideally you don't want to be spending more than maybe five minutes on this so maybe a good way to do this is just to aim at bullseye see what your score is after five minutes and then roughly base uh, your sort of target score based on that in the background you'll be seeing some of my better visits I'm not going to show you the whole routine because it does go on for quite a little while I'm going to show you some of the best bullseyes and attempts that I've had within this little practice routine that I've done on this day. And then we're going to move on to the next practice routine. Another practice game I play quite regularly is 1-2-1. One, one. Everyone should know this game. It's pretty standard. What you do is start on 121 and you try and check it out in 9 darts. What I like to do is put a little twist on this game. So if you get it in the first 3 darts, you go up by 10. If you get it in the 4-6 to six darts, you go up by 5. And if you get it in the last 3 darts, you go up by 3. If you don't get it, you go down by 1. This way it just makes it a little bit quicker and I play this up until 170 and then I'll stop. Again, you should only really be spending 10-15 minutes on this. The reason I go up by 3, 5 and 10 is because it does vary up your finishing. And yeah, 1 2 1's a pretty obvious practice game. I'm again going to leave you with some of the better shots that I played and some of the better routines I played. And yeah, 1 2 1, really good practice game just to get into the swing of things in terms of your finishing. Something that you can literally just walk up to the board and play for 10 15 minutes, and uh, it will just keep you a little bit more sharp on your finishing. So yeah, there's another little finishing game I like to play. Sticking with the finishing routines, obviously finishing is probably the most important part of anyone's game. Uh, for me, consistency and hitting the actual double is probably where I need to work on my game the most. So another game I like to play is Bob's 27. Bob's 27 is you start on 27 points and you aim all three darts at double one and then double two and then double three and so on until you work your way all the way around the board until the bullseye. If you hit a double, you add that amount of double to your score so say I hit two double ones I add four to my score if I don't hit double one at all I move on to double two but I take away the value of the double one to my score so if I start on 27 and I don't hit double one I take away two points 
If I move on to double two and don't hit double two, then I'll take away four points and it will leave me on 21. If I hit one double two, obviously add four points and it will take me up to 29 off 25. And that's how the game works. You just add or decrease the value of the double depending on how many you hit. Or if you don't hit any at all, you take away the value of the double. This really adds a nice bit of pressure, but it also rewards you for being able to hit the double multiple times. You have to hit at least a couple of doubles on your first four attempts at double. If you miss all of your doubles up to double five, then you have to start again because you will go below zero. This can be one of those games where you can get a really, really high score if you're playing really well, or it can be one of those games where you just about hang on and you could be on like 19 points at the end and you just hit one double top and you finish on 59 because you don't, or you could even finish on nine uh, on nine points if you don't hit a bullseye. And yeah guys, that's it for this video. It's been a little bit long, but hopefully it's been quite informative on some of my build up for the British Open. The next video will probably be a little Super League vlog most likely. I don't know if I'll have any match footage, but it'll just be showing you the insights and behind the scenes of setting up a Super League game. Um, and then the next video after that will most likely be um, traveling up to the venue and the first day, which is the East Coast Darts Tournament. Um, that'll probably be more of a fun vlog, and then the British Open vlog will be more of a reflective um, vlog on how I performed. So maybe another two or three videos to come from this little series. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are going to the British Open yourself, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, guys, that is it for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you're going to the British Open or if you've played in the WDF event before and how you got on. And also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video. And obviously turn on the notification bell as well as that will notify you when I upload. That's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.